good morning students welcome to the statistics class now we'll learn about the area property of uh, normal distribution area property in the previous class i had explained to you regarding the properties of a normal curve this is the middlemost value mu and this is the scale up to minus infinity and this is the scale up to plus infinity and this i can take this as mu minus 3 sigma this as mu minus 2 sigma and this as mu minus sigma since it is symmetrical we have the same in a positive term mu plus sigma mu plus 2 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma students one thing is sure the total area under the curve is one students okay this is one and uh, you know for it from mu to infinity it is probability from x value greater than mu is is 0.5 probability of x lesser than mu is also 0.5 and this is common probability of uh, you know from minus uh, infinity to plus infinity okay when uh, what is the value what is the probability it is always one okay that is what i have mentioned it here right now now at these points of inflection or at these uh, points where we call them as you know first sigma limit uh, second sigma limits and third sigma limits now we have to consider how many percentage of values can fit in in this first sigma limit or how many percentage of values can fit in the second sigma limit and how many percentage of values can fit in the third sigma limit is what we need to study imagine student this is like a tank okay this is like a water tank okay you understand this as a water tank and you have to pour around 100 liters of tank into this just to understand okay i'm taking this and there is an opening here you can just say opening and there are three gates for it student there are three gates for it okay this is the first gate the first gate is mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma there is a second gate second gate i mean gate i mean say when we look into dam you know when we think about a dam a dam is a kind of a dam is what is a reservoir to reserve water we, we build a dam and uh, and when the water is full in the tank and the dam we release the water we release the water releasing it is through the gates there will be gates which will be blocking the water okay in, when in the storage they will block the water and once the tanks are when the uh, gates are lifted the water flows okay like that this is a gate students this is the first gate this is the second gate and that is the third gate now i have to pour water into this tank and i closed the gates i have closed the gates and i'm just pouring from here do you think all the hundred liters will fit in in this no they say that only 68.26 liters can fit in in other words okay how many observations how many percent what is the percentage of observation lying between the first sigma limit the percentage is 68.26 percentage okay now i lift the second i lift the first gate and close the second gate now definitely tank capacity will increase yes it will increase now i am pouring water so how many liters of water can fit in here they say it is 95.44 liters of water can fit in into this 95.44 liters what is the percentage of observation lying in the second sigma limit the percentage is 95.44 now what i do is i'll open the second gate and close the third gate the final gate the last gate okay close it and I am pouring water from the top. I am pouring water from the top. And do you think the uh, yeah maximum storage can happen? And that is what they say. 99.74 percentage of the values or 99.74 liters of water can fit in the third sigma limit. So this is what is all about the area property students. So I can write this area property in terms of you know, this way. That is probability that a value will lie 
in the first sigma neighborhood of mu in the first sigma neighborhood of mu what is the probability the probability is 0.6826 and expressed in percentage as 68.26 percentage of the values will lie in the first sigma limit in the second sigma limit we have it as is as given as what is the um, probability that a uh, value will lie in the second neighborhood uh, in the neighborhood of mu is given as mu plus 2 sigma uh, and the value is given as 90.9544 or it is 95.44 percentage of values and the third one students and the third one okay and the third sigma limit the third sigma limit that is probability mu minus 3 sigma mu plus 3 sigma is equal to 0 0.9974 or we can call this as 99.74 percentage of values will lie in these three sigma limits and this is what we have it in this uh, property okay students fine so in the next class we start solving the problems on it okay thank you